What's up everybody, it's Merman Mike. We're out here at Lake Natoma. I've got Jordan with me. We also have Kendra. And uh, they got in contact with me through Facebook. They actually lost some glasses out here. Um, they're a pair of Ray-Bans prescription sunglasses. I'm gonna let him tell you how he lost them. But uh, yeah, we came out here to try to help find them. I've got my girlfriend over there. She's gonna stay off camera right now. But uh, anywho, here's Jordan. He's gonna tell you guys how he lost them. So yes, I was just about, just dunk my head underwater, get used to the temperature. Right around where that buoy is at. I can't tell you really how far that is. Maybe, what is that, 30 feet or so? Probably about that. So, dunked underwater, came back up and like, tried to do like a model take, I guess. <laughs> Glasses came off and I tried oh. to grab them, knocked them even farther into the water. Oh no. I'm as blind as a bat without my glasses, so. I tried to search around. If you can kind of see the water, as soon as you step down, it gets really silty and whatnot. Yeah, yep. Exactly. So it kind of just messes up everything. So I spent a good 30, 45 minutes looking for them because they're expensive prescription sunglasses. <laughs> and so I kind of just got fed up. There's a bunch of people out here. It was a holiday weekend. So I was like, ah, what the heck? Let's just leave. Well, they have been out there for a couple months now, so uh, the odds are pretty slim. We're still gonna give it our best shot. We're gonna be out here for a couple hours. So over there by that red buoy, that's where we're gonna start searching. We'll search a little bit around it just in case they took it, or it started to go towards the dams when the gates open. But uh, I'm always feeling good about these, so hopefully we find it and can't wait to show you guys what's down there. All right, stay tuned. Here we go. Whoa! 
spot where I wanted to get to. The rope swing is right there off of that tree. This is basically just a huge shelf. There's like a little platform and it drops off again. People try to get from their kayaks or paddle boards onto the island and that's where they end up dropping things. So we're gonna go down here and uh, hope we have some luck. All right, stay tuned everybody. Oh, yeah. Woo! No! Oh, 
What's up everybody, it's Merman Mike. We just got done with another beautiful dive here at Lake Natoma. Unfortunately, we struck out with trying to find the guy's prescription sunglasses. Um, that was the main reason why we were out here. We searched for probably about three hours. Unfortunately, where he dropped them and just the level of depth he dropped them was probably about waist deep. And uh, when you're that deep, I mean, there's hundreds of people that come here every week during the summer and they've been down there for probably two or three months. The odds of someone coming across them already and finding them are pretty high. Um, but we always give it our best shot. I love trying to return people's valuables back to them. It's my favorite part of what I do. But uh, after that, we went over to the rope swing spot and we did find some pretty cool treasures. Not the most I've ever found, but definitely some pretty cool ones. So I'm gonna show you guys those right now. All right, with the metal detector, found some pretty cool like old bolts and whatnot looks like an eye bolt uh, got some old pull tabs got a really old lure another lure got a super old beer can uh, full kombucha or however you say it full Gatorade got a little eyepiece to one of these pairs of goggles got a pair of goggles got a golf ball whatever that is Got a screwdriver. Found this on the way back to the truck. It's funny because me and my girlfriend actually watched that show. But uh, got whatever this is. Oh yeah, found my first phone in the dry bag. I was really excited when I came across this. The only way I actually was able to find this was with the metal detector. So I've been really excited with the finds we're getting with that. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. There's looks to be a little bit of water that got in there, but uh, it looks, I think it's an HTC, and those usually have SD or SD cards that we'll be able to get in there, hopefully look at some pictures and find the owner. And uh, that would be really cool. If we do find the owner, I'll make sure to show you guys. But uh, got a pair of prescription reading glasses or some sort of prescription glasses. Got these that I actually found with the metal detectors. They're pretty cool, super old. Um, got a broken pair of glasses. Got a, another broken pair of sunglasses. Got a broken thing to keep your snorkel on your mask. And the grand finale, Apple Watch. It's actually my first Apple Watch. I was super excited. Um, unfortunately with these, if there is a lock on it, there's not really any way I can get into it and find the owner. Um, Apple obviously isn't gonna give me any information, which is a good thing, but uh, if we can get into it, if it doesn't have a lock, I'll absolutely try to get a hold of the owner and get that back to him. And if we can't, I mean, it'll just go into the treasure room like everything else. But uh, I was super excited when I found that. And uh, yeah, it looks brand new. Super sleek. But uh, yeah, other than that, we didn't get too much trash, but we did get all the trash we came across. 
because I thoroughly believe you can never just go for the treasure. You always have to get the trash too. But uh, yeah, I had a really, really good day today. Hope you guys had fun too. All right, till next time. Take care. All right, everybody. Trash can, meat trash. Ooh, I wanna keep that spoon for the museum. Super old spoon. Don't judge me, it's my spoon. Till next time everybody.